We're here today with Dr. Nima and Leah. And Dr. Nima, what are we going to be doing today? I noticed you pulled out some needles. Well, today we're going to be doing a lip augmentation with Juvederm. Uh, it's an injectable filler used to plump up and define the lips. You call it a lip augmentation. How is that different than, uh, I don't know, like collagen lips? Uh, it's similar, but we don't use uh, collagen just because it, it doesn't look as natural as uh, something like Juvederm or Restylane does. So, um, so basically it's about the same thing, just lip plumping and defining the lips a little bit better. Hmm. Okay. So how long does the process take? The process takes about 15 to 20 minutes altogether. Uh, it just involves numbing the area and then doing the injections and pretty much done after that. That's it? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. That makes it sound so easy. It is. So mm -hmm. is there a way, can you determine um, ahead of time how plump, like if somebody comes to you, do they say, I want to look, I want Angelina Jolie's lips, or do that? <laughs> sure. I mean, can you determine that ahead of time? Uh, you can, and uh, basically you, what you end up doing is you keep the same shape of the lips that they have, just more plump and more defined. Okay. Uh, sometimes people come in and they want really big lips, but I really kind of caution against going too much too quickly just because... You know, as you can see, just one syringe will give a pretty dramatic result, and if they want any more, usually you're waiting a couple of weeks for the swelling to come down, and you can inject a little bit more. But I think going kind of in a stepwise fashion is uh, is the safest. Mm, yeah, that probably makes a lot of sense. So when you do something like this, what do you do to prepare in advance? Uh, for the patient specifically? Yeah. Yeah. So or what, or what should she do, Leah? What 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 did, should she have done to prepare? The main thing really of getting any kind of injectables is that you don't want to take anything that's going to thin the blood and increase bruising. Um, for myself, it's, it becomes more difficult because if there's more bruising that's going on, there's more swelling and it's harder to determine you know, what areas need where. And for the client, um, they basically get more bruising and they don't really like that because the bruising can hang around for you know, a week or so. So to kind of minimize the discomfort on both ends, I really recommend not taking things like aspirin, ibuprofen, Advil. Basically, any painkiller other than Tylenol, um, just because uh, all of those in the blood. Hmm. Okay. And then after you have it, is there a swelling period that goes on for a certain amount of time? Yeah. So I tell patients, you know, right afterwards is a little bit of swelling, but the peak of swelling is really two to four days after the augmentation. Um, so I, I just warn patients in advance that the lips are going to look a lot more swollen than they're actually going to be. And... Um, by the time that the swelling comes down, they really like the results. Uh, okay. That is, and actually, after they kind of that the swelling comes down, they wish that they had the the, <laughs> the bigger lips they had before. And oh, they, really? they kind of freaked out. Yeah. <laughs> so that's again why we want to go a stepwise fashion, just because you don't want it too much too soon, especially someone who's never had a lip augmentation before. Okay, so basically, if you have a special occasion like your red carpet, a, a premiere, your class reunion, your anniversary, you know, something where you're going to have a lot of photographs taken, probably five days at least beforehand? Yeah, you know, like a week or two is uh, the best, but, you know, up to about five days before, I think it's pretty safe. Okay. Um, you know, the, the stuff will last for about six months, so really you can do it even a month before if you want. So Six months? Yeah. Wow. It's just the you know the the talking and the chewing and whatnot kind of uh, you know any areas of uh, of increased muscle activity will make it go away a little more quickly. So, okay. but it's uh, but that uh, lasts about six months and um, it's got a really nice result. Okay, well thank you. Well let's go ahead and see it okay. being done. Lee, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. All right. So just to minimize discomfort for lip augmentation, um, there are two options. One is a topical anesthetic cream, or uh, or a dental block and. Usually the dental block works the best. I mean, it really eliminates any kind of pain uh, that you have. So what I do to begin with is I put a little numbing medicine inside the mouth to kind of numb the area so you don't feel any, any uh, needles. Uh, um, so we just put it on the inside of the lips. So just open your mouth for me for a sec. Um, everybody's lips are not symmetrical. So I just want to, you know, a lot of people after they get lip injections and they're like, oh, well, this side's a little bit lower than the other and this and that. Um, your your like your right side is just a little bit lower than your left. Mm -hmm. This will like again keep the same exact shape your lips have, just a little bit more full. Okay. Do you want to look in the mirror to see what I'm talking about? Oh, I, you know? I I know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, after she's been numbed um, with just that little bit of paste, we're just going to use a a local anesthetic to do the injection. Let it sit. We're just gonna let it sit for a couple minutes. 
like it's all the way up here. Yeah, it's the there's a nerve that's right here that feeds kind of your whole cheek and upper lip. So oh, okay. It'll is it on this side too? Yeah, a little bit. It's okay. more like more on the right. Yeah, even like up here a little bit. I'm just molding it. Yes. While, it's, while it's still fresh, you can mold it a little 